So in previous videos, we went over the different parts of the digestive system and their functions, and we also went over the finger-like projections inside of the small intestine, the villi and the microvilli. And we said how they are what allow the small intestine to absorb all the nutrients. So in our final video of the introduction to the digestive system, I wanted to go over what I like to call the accessory organ. So accessory organs. And there are three, and we'll go over them briefly. I'll label them for you on this guy over here. This one over here will be the liver. And the liver is one of the most fascinating organs inside the entire body. It's going to do so much for us. It filters and detoxifies our blood. It removes vitamins, stores glucose for energy. It makes plasma proteins. But what I want you to really focus on for the digestive system, its main digestive function, is it makes bile. So bile, and bile, all bile is going to do is it's going to emulsify fats. So emulsify is just break apart so that it will break apart fats. So the liver makes the bile, and then next, down underneath the liver, it's going to be a small little guy who looks like that. This is going to be the gallbladder, and the gallbladder, so the gallbladder, and he will store the bile and concentrate it until it's time to be released into the small intestine. And our final accessory organ that we'll label is this fish, this fish-shaped spongy organ that sits behind or posterior to the stomach. And that is going to be the pancreas. So the pancreas. The pancreas has many different functions, and it releases a lot of enzymes into the small intestine and helps it to break down the food or the chyme at that point into its macromolecules. So it's going to release pancreatic amylase, and you may recognize amylase because in our oral cavity we release salivary amylase, and that's going to break down carbs, if we can recall, carbs, also going to release lipase. So it sounds like lipids because it will break down fats. Also in the small intestine, our pancreas will release trypsin. And trypsin will break down proteins further. So proteins. And then another thing it will release is bicarbonate. And bicarbonate will simply act as a buffer because if we can recall inside of our stomach over here. We had our rugae and all our folds and we had a lot of pepsin release that also starts to break down our proteins. But in addition to that, there was hydrochloric acid inside the stomach and of course, we remember that our pH was around one. And that's extremely acidic. So once the chyme leaves through the pyloric sphincter over here, it's going to come through into the duodenum, the first part of the small intestine. And so the, hydro, the hydrochloric acid needs to sort of have a buffer, and that's where this bicarbonate comes in. So it's a very important thing. So one, I'll, I'll sort of draw the accessory organs up here very quickly uh, to show you how they are laid out. So maybe our liver's up here. Looks, I mean, very rough sketch, obviously, but then our gallbladder is gonna sit underneath them like that. It's gonna be a lot of branching. It's gonna come through the common, common hepatic, duct over here, it's going to come down and maybe into the, the small intestine that way. And the pancreas will sit over here, this fish spongy guy over here. And then he will dump, also dump his enzymes into here and they will empty into the small intestine. So the stomach may be somewhere up here, branch around. And that could be the duodenum. And they'll dump right there together. So that's where it's going to be put in. And one thing before I let you go that I want to show you is that you may be asking, well, when does the liver and gallbladder, the gallbladder, when does it know to release the bile into the small intestine and how? Well, the small intestine is going to release something called cholecystokinin. And cholecystokinin will tell our gallbladder when to release the bile. So we'll, it's CCK. And that will come up here and stimulate the gallbladder, which will have a lot of bile inside of it. And when it does, it will release it down here 
and it'll enter the small intestine. And that is what will emulsify the fats. So, and the fats are gonna, you know, they're gonna be really attracted to each other. They're gonna clump together like this. And all emulsification is, is it's going to break these apart and make them easier to absorb inside the lacteals in the villi and microvilli. So, and that's what I really just wanted to show you is that, hey, these different food, these foods that we eat, they aren't just going to enter ready to be absorbed. They have to be further broken down from enzymes and our accessory organs are a large part and they play a very large role in breaking our food down into these smaller macromolecules to be absorbed.